and it's usually nice and peaceful around here. If it wasn't for the uh, gliders doing 100 plus mile an hour. Welcome back to Butza. So today's video is going to be about your yearly checks. Everyone knows that they put their glider in to the loft or Aerofix or some other shop to have their glider checked for material, porosity, damage, uh, line strength, uh, line damage, all of that. Every year we make sure that the wing is still in flyable condition. The one thing that I haven't noticed in two years of me flying paragliders is that no one seems to mention checking your actual harness. Does anyone actually check over their harness yearly? Not just for damage, not just for its normal condition, wear and tear, but even for a setting. Has anyone actually double checked since they first got their harness, adjusted to them? Have you since actually checked if it's actually set up correctly? What I mean by set up correctly is, Every time we get into a harness, obviously checking that all the straps are tight across the legs, across the chest, even the straps that go into your pod, keep that tight as you put your feet in there. But has anyone actually checked to see if the angle that you're sitting at is correct and hasn't moved, or if the actual chest strap distance hasn't changed since from carabiner to carabiner. I bet you haven't checked that in a while. Harness settings. I'm flying in a Supper Evo light. It's been my first paragliding harness. So I've flown it from the beginning and now have 175 hours on it. At the beginning I flew it as an open harness. Now after eight hours I put the pod on the front. mainly wanted the pod for the winter flying. Keep warm and it works an absolute treat. However, after 175 hours of flying, it's gone out of trim, like wings do. Other materials also stretch, buckles let things slip and I found myself in a very reclined position and thought, you know what, this needs checking. So I hung my harness from the garage roof, done a load of adjustments to get that angle right. Now that angle on every harness is going to be different. But I noticed the angle of mine was out after seen a video of myself and my feet virtually pointing directly into the air. So my feet were higher than my bum. And therefore the angle of the pod was not as it most efficient. Which I'm pretty sure it was first time round I adjusted it all. And obviously while flying we want efficiency as much as possible to get the most out of our flights and our equipment. So I'll put up a picture or a short video clip of what the position was and then I'll uh, try and explain how the bottom of my harness is supposed to be perfectly horizontal so that the oncoming flow is perfectly central to make it efficient.
So the other important adjustments you need to be checking on your harness, which I clearly hadn't, is the chest strap distance. Because your wing is certified on a certain distance between the carabiners. So you're advised to fly it within those same measurements. And over 175 hours, mine had not been slipping, but I thought it had, so I'd constantly been tightening it up because it felt right. And it feeling right doesn't mean it actually was. So I found some snotty conditions felt even worse because I had the carabiners so close together, not ridiculously, they weren't touching, that the glider would throw me around a little bit unexpectedly. And now I've got it set in the right place, even flying here at Butza doesn't feel so bad, even flappy wingtips. Like that just done. So yeah people, every year you get your glider checked, hang the harness up, check your harness settings. Could make all the difference to how it makes you feel about flying. Thank you.